Hello folks, this is Naim Aslam, I'm back with an update on coronavirus and its influence on financial markets. Let's begin by looking at the equity market, the massive surge that we are seeing in the equity market since it's formed the bottom, well, sort of a bottom for now. And this has led many to ask this question, if this is it, whether they should be getting involved right now. Well, the answer is going back to those looking at those major fundamentals, your fiscal and monetary policy help, correct, the outbreak coming under control, check mark, we got the evidence from China and also the momentum is slowing down in Italy as well. Resumption of economic activity, check, we got the rubber stamp in fact today out of China in terms of its manufacturing and not manufacturing PMI data. And because of this, I'm also seeing the VIX index easing off from its level of 60. In fact, I believe if the momentum continues at its pace, it is highly likely for the index to drop below 40 by the end of this week, if not then early next week. But when it comes to oil, it is just being battered by, from both ends, supply and demand shocks. Because by yesterday, what happened was Donald Trump once again has said that he is going to speak with Putin but that headline didn't really produce any sort of a surge because crude or WTI price dropped below $20 and now it is in a major area of support on a weekly time frame. And remember, I've done, we've done a video on a YouTube yesterday explaining monthly and weekly support zones. So please do go and have a look on that. But right now, looking at the overall momentum, I think if the S&P 500 breaks above the, its 200 day moving average on a daily to, on a weekly time frame, sorry, then it is highly likely that the bottom is in place and the path of least resistance is skewed to the upside. So do get involved while the discount is on the table, unless before it gets too late. That's all for today. See you guys tomorrow.